Will Ospreay, Ricochet, thank you guys both so much for taking the time to sit down with me today. Uh, next week, Dynamite, the fifth anniversary of Dynamite, the two of you will be having a match for that international championship. But I want to take you guys back to 2016, the Super Juniors. You two had a match that really revolutionized the entire sport. Uh, what does it mean to you to have that kind of an impact on professional wrestling? And what are your memories of that? Uh, can I start, if that's yeah, all right? sure. All good with you? Yeah, please. We've never actually spoken about this in the same room ever, not yeah. even publicly. Individually, I feel like we've spoken about this match constantly. Um, for me, I was not prepared for the spotlight that I was about to be put under. I mean, at the time, I was 20 three years old. Uh, this is the first tour that I ever did with New Japan. And I was in there with like the most elite field of wrestlers I've ever seen. Like, I remember Kyle O'Reilly versus Kushida was like one of the main events for one of the, for starting of the tour. I remember watching it being like, oh, I really do not belong here. <laughs> like, and like really feeling like I was in deep water. But like seeing how it all transpired and seeing how we just went out there and done, well, I did me, you did you. I came out the victor of the match, but it was just one of those ones where I, I felt like we did something very important. And, and it shows now, like, I don't know if you see it, but when you're walking back there, like, there are kids like Nick Wayne yeah. who come up to us and was like, yo, that match got me into wrestling. Oh, yeah, and it's time. crazy to me. Like, it's been eight years and we've created something for a next generation to come in and, and strive to do something as special as what we did. I don't know how you feel about it. No, I I agree with you on that, but it's funny. I I have honestly I have mixed feelings about the match. Honestly, I have mixed feelings. On one hand, I am I'm happy that we had the match, and I'm happy that Will and I got together, and we got to show the whole world our vision as to what professional wrestling can be. But man, I got some regrets, and not because of some out of touch old timer or some online cheese curlers who think they know everything about wrestling. No, not because of that, but because really up until that night, every time you would compare Ricochet and Will Ospreay, it was Ricochet one, Ospreay two. A lot of people saw it as this passing of the torch type match, because especially for me, like he just said, like it was the first time he'd really been set in a, a situation like that. But for me, I had Lucha Underground, I had PWG, I had Dragon Gate, I had New Japan, I had a bunch of stuff already under my title that, you know, honestly, decades of memories, decades of feelings, decades of matches that people could pull from. But it was it was on that night that Will showed that he could rise to the occasion and he could hang with the best in the world. And honestly, from that night, he went on to to have the career he's had to to claim that he's on another level. On that night, our names kind of became intertwined kind of forever, which again, doesn't really sit with me well because, man, we really, as similar as we may be in the ring, we couldn't be two different people. Uh, you know, you talk it, it like that about your relationship and, and how you feel about that match, but now here we are, both of you guys here with AEW, you guys have both gone on and had your respective careers, but you can already feel that animosity. I've seen it firsthand backstage between the two of you. Has this just been brewing that entire time? I mean, look, it's always been heated between us. There's always this weird bit of competition between us. And I think it does stem from this whole, like, little big brother, little brother, like, category that we found ourselves in because Ricochet, like, I, I've not told many people this, but he was the first foreign wrestler that I ever wrestled. He came over to the UK. He was super nice to my mum. He's, honestly, he taught me so much from that match, I've always looked up to you and I've always respected you. And I do feel like there is this slight little tinge of jealousy. Uh, I, I feel like it sometimes. And it's just because, do you remember like the last night that you left Japan? New Japan, yeah, Paris, I, and you remember that last remember night, right? Night. I won the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, yeah. right? I'll be honest with you, I have never felt more dirty holding that championship because I looked up to you, man. You were like, you were my guy. Like every time I'd research you and I was idolizing you constantly. And you fought for the junior title how many times? Three? Three times, I'm sure it's three. And you never won it. And then here I am holding this championship while you're walking out the door going to do whatever you need to do. But like, I just, after that, I just didn't want to feel guilty anymore. I didn't want to feel dirty about actually fulfilling my promises where you couldn't.
honestly, you should be happy that I went and I did what I thought was the best for me. You should be happy that I went and did what I thought was the best for my family. And I had the six year hiatus, as you say, which allowed you to have the career that you had because imagine if I hadn't gone. Imagine if I would have stayed, where would you have been? And if you think that me not winning a championship in a company is not fulfilling a promise, bro, I have decades of championships, decades of memories, decades of giving people feelings, decades of people walking out of the building with a championship or not, they remembered Ricochet. So if that's what you think, that I didn't complete my promise, you couldn't be any more wrong. Well guys, look, eight years later, we're finally getting this rematch, but you know, Ricochet, with all the things you just said, how much pressure are you feeling coming into this match? I'm Kobe Bryant with it. I've been here a thousand times before. I made this shot a thousand times before. Me coming to AEW was, was a me thing, was a personal choice. Me coming to AEW was a, a chance for me to show everybody, honestly, a different side of me, a deeper side of me that I was honestly kind of too afraid or too embarrassed to kind of show a, a different vulnerability of Ricochet that people really hasn't been able to see. But before I can even get a 360 look at what the landscape of AEW really is, Don Callis, Kyle Fletcher, Pac, Mortos, even Will Ospreay got to say something. So it seems that my presence, obviously, whether it's from a coworker or whether it's from a cheese curler online, obviously emits emotion out of somebody. It gives somebody a feeling. And Will was online before I even got here talking about how he wanted me to come here. He was online basically begging for me to come here. Yeah, because you know why? Because you've forgotten who you were. You forgot everything about yourself, that six year high issue you done. Like, look how much personality you're showing now. You're actually comfortable in what you're feeling. But like right now, like, do you understand? She just said pressure. Do you understand how much pressure you just put yourself under? You left a secure job, man. Left guaranteed money. And now you're in the ring with whether you like it or not, as little bro, the best wrestler in the world right now. Like this is the time now, my man. It's now or never. Next week, like, everyone can say that this is too soon. I've been waiting eight years for this, fam. And this championship, this is about where the best wrestler, this championship is synonified, the best wrestlers in the building right now. So I hope, I generally hope, if everything in my body, in my heart, in my soul, that you do find that old Ricochet that I used to look up to, because I know he's in there somewhere, and I want you to show out. I want you to come at me with everything I've got because now the pressure's on you, not on me. See, I see it a little differently. I see it a little differently because, again, win, lose, or draw, Ricochet, good. Win, lose, or draw, people are gonna yell for Ricochet, they're gonna scream for Ricochet, they're gonna buy his merch, they're gonna buy his action figures. Ricochet, good. You need to win. You need to beat Ricochet. You, everybody talks about how Will is the best in the world. Well, then if you're the best in the world, you better win this match. I plan to. It's lovely having you here. It really is. Lovely I generally miss you seeing you. Well, we're all very lucky to have both of you guys here at AEW. Guys, next week, the fifth anniversary of Dynamite, Ricochet versus Osprey for the International Championship.